Uh, so today I had planned to work on the uh, CJ project, uh, but I, this week I got a lot of requests to make some Christmas uh, garden gnomes uh, before Christmas comes around. Uh, so instead of working on the Jeep this week, I am going to make some Christmas gnomes. Uh, if you follow my channel at all, if you look back at some of the other videos, you'll see that I'm uh, doing some chainsaw carving. Uh, so um, I figured instead of working on the Jeep, uh, I would just show you uh, the process I go through to make these uh, carvings. Also, a lot of the stuff I'm doing on the CJ now is just welding and it doesn't really make for good videos. So this week I'm gonna finish up that work and by next week I will continue on the CJ project. So I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next week. So the next step in finishing any of these sculptures is the sanding process, which uh, Tracy does all of that. She does the sanding and the uh, painting of the uh, sculptures. Uh, this is some of the ones we just did today. Uh, these are ones that are going to be uh, uh, going to be sold uh, to a couple of people that request them. Uh, this is the one we just finished up. This is actually going to be Tracy's here. Uh, she's already in the process of sanding that one up. Uh, we're trying to get this to look like a dragonfly on the side here, but I'm not sure if that's going to work. But uh, so, what do you do, Trace? Will you end up lightly sanding them? Um, yes. So um, I just start off by first trying to brush off and get as much of the wood chips off as I can. Um, I also go through because some of the. Cr um, crevices are pretty deep that I go through with a screwdriver um, and get again as much out as I can so that it doesn't come flying up um, in my face. Um, then I go through and I vacuum everything out um, and then I start with this is a 60 grit yeah. um, and again it takes away um, a lot of the big um, gouging part of things. I'm not sure if that's the right way to put that, but it, the, the sharp pieces. And then with the pumpkin with the leaf on it, I went to the, uh, the leaf. I think I did, I ended up with like 320, but usually again, it's it, like, this is, this is the 60 grit. And I don't think that that looks bad. No, um, I'm going to go through, there's a couple of little pots that are hard to get with this big clunky um, orbital sander, so I'm going to use a chisel and a hammer, um, and we all know how good I am with that, so we'll see how that goes. Um, this one, I just started, I just lightly touched around, again, his nose to smooth out his nose, uh, and took a little bit of the sharp pieces off on his beard, and started with his shoes. Um, all right, looks, that looks good. Thank you. Looks good. Uh, 
All right, this I'm going to just show you the uh, finished product uh, we have actually in the front of our house now. Uh, I'll bring you out there. Thanks, Chris. You're very welcome. Yeah, so we ended up getting rid of that dragonfly. I didn't really like the shape of the hat and everything, so uh, we went this route. We didn't need that piece. Oh no! <laughs> oh, I wish I had that piece. Oh, 